most of Wisconsin has a very rich military history. Uh, and, and Fond du Lac has really put up some tremendous uh, uh, service personnel through the Spanish-American War, um, the uh, World War One, World War Two, uh, all the way through the wars. Uh. I think, you know, we, we always think of uh, people that served in the Civil War as, as being from the other states that were closer to uh, where the action actually took place, but we had a lot of heroes from Fond du Lac County. It's a lineage uh, in addition to a heritage in Fond du Lac County, how our people stand up for the greater good of our nation and for the world. When you look at the monuments that are throughout Fond du Lac County, those show that the people also recognize that they have a lot to be thankful for and that there are a lot of veterans in these, these small communities that make up Fond du Lac County. Well, it shows that uh, Fond du Lac County is, is good fertile ground uh, to raise families and, and to raise young men of character. It's, it's, a, it's a testimony to, I think, the, uh, the recognition and, and the feeling of patriotism and call to duty that uh, the Fond du Lac residents have. And even with, without a draft, they're still volunteering and they're still serving, and I commend them. They are true heroes. So the, the Medal of Honor is something that everyone aspires to, every soldier aspires to, but it is the, the rare occasion that the Medal of Honor scenarios present themselves. You can picture more scenarios where someone on the ground is going to be doing something very heroic and have witnesses to that event. And, and that's part of the requirement. Uh, clearly above, you know, valor above and beyond the call of duty. Uh, an example of this is James Maggie Majalis of Fond du Lac. In uh, 2007, Tom Petri, representative from the state of Wisconsin, introduced a bill into the House of Representatives to award James Majellis the Medal of Honor for his actions uh, during World War II. Well, this was in Belgium during the Battle of the Bulge. Uh, the Germans had, had uh, caught us by surprise and broken through uh, our lines on December 16th and were heading for Antwerp and had made a great penetration in our lines of some 60 miles. And the 82nd Airborne Division, which was a part of, were then uh, brought in by trucks and drove uh, in, in stake trucks to get into Belgium, made contact with the Germans. And standing between us and the Siegfried Line was a city called Harrisbach. In the meantime, the enemy, aware of our presence, started out of the town with a, what I considered to be two rifle companies as part of a battalion that was in that town. We had to do something right away, and I was called immediately. And uh, we met this force of, well, must have been 250 or more head-on. As while this firefight was going on, and we had gained control, a German tank came around the corner and started blazing at us with machine guns. And so our mission was endangered at that point, not only that, but even our survival. And so. Uh, I was a platoon leader leading the lead platoon, and uh, instinctively I did what a platoon leader would do. And I charged off to the side of the road, and there was a tree line there. And I, and using the tree line as coverage, I got close enough to the tank while they were firing that I could uh, I could throw a gammon grenade at it. Well, I, I hit it in, in the bottom of the part, and the gunner, as I recall, who was firing at us out of the turret, went down into the tank and gave me a chance to get up and close to the tank and, and get on and close up to drop a grenade in the tank. So that disabled the, the tank and killed the crew. So we reorganized and captured this town. And by my calculation, I wrote a letter home back to Fond du Lac and I re re related what had happened. I have a copy of the letter in which I said, we killed 180 of the enemy, took over 200 prisoners and
Maggie has a, a very interesting perspective on the Medal of Honor. He attributes his uh, upbringing in Fond du Lac, um, the city of Fond du Lac in Fond du Lac County, and the things that he learned from his family as the conditions that were established that allowed him to react and perform when this profound incident was presented. As, as Maggie would say, it's not about identifying one person for their actions, it's about identifying an entire community for their support.